speak on it, what it felt like, you know, um, obviously, you know, it's no secret that what kind of, you know, what you had to go through. And I don't think people really understand, like, when you on IR, when you on PUP, like, you're not really with the team. Like, you don't be at the mm-hmm. meetings. You kind of move, like, on an opposite schedule because it only makes sense. You know what I mean? When the guys who are playing are in the training room, there ain't enough hands. So yeah. I'm going to be honest with yeah. you. That shit, like, like our training room out there on Mondays is, like, uh, at the award. That shit, they <laughs> carting one nigga in, moving another nigga out. Doc, the guy, go see him. Okay, damn, hold on. What you doing it? Yeah. yeah, bro, I just woke up today and my shit. Don't worry, about it. I'm, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Yeah, Y'all niggas got some shit you going on. Me? Yeah. It's crazy. So it don't be enough hands. So obviously when we in meetings, that's when, you know, obviously the guys who got long-term energies and stuff, uh, you know, that's when they uh getting their rehab and getting their treatment in. So, like, that's just... Uh, law like in that league and stuff so Mm -hmm. speaking on what that's like you know kind of having to go through that obviously you know as we were kind of going through training camp and and what that felt like because I feel like people were just being unfair bro I mean, listen, little. I don't want to say unfair. It's the media job to to speculate. That's their job is to sure. speculate. Okay. Oh, I think this is what's going on. That's what's going on. Mm-hmm. But I think that's where they ran with it. Like you mm-hmm. mentioned, it's law. You want IR. You want PUP. Your job is to get healthy. So you're that's not really with the team. So I feel like they tried to merge the business side and the actual football side together. Those mm. was two totally separate things. Like mm-hmm. you could be handling, trying to handle your business. And also doing something totally different with ball. Like, mm-hmm. the whole goal was I was trying to get healthy. Like, right. mm-hmm. why I'm not stepping on the field if I'm not healthy, especially during camp. Let's not speed past Tennessee, but let's just take us back to what it felt like to come back in the building. Sure. Oh, I mean, that was love. I, I always telling people all the time, y'all was really pushing me. Like, I'm watching y'all in these games. And I'm like, man. I know I want to be out there, but I know right now mm-hmm. my body is not ready yet. I think that was the most frustrating part because you do so much work in the off season, mm-hmm. and it's not even like you have a setback. It's just like that timeline is not moving how you thought it was going to move. Okay. So now you're like, yo, I need to do any and everything to get this joint right. Like I'm, You remember I left on camp? I'm like, yo, I got to go get treatment. There they go again. Trying to tell her left for treatment. Yo, you can't get. Any treatment in the world at the Colts facility or any NFL facility. <laughs> like, straight up, look at them. You gotta, go, you like, gotta go to the doctors. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they think in the NFL facilities, they got every treatment available known to man. It's like, what? They got everything. Fix it, y'all. You're like, yo, what is That's going crazy. on? But I'm like, yo, y'all really drive, like, drove me. I'm like, listen, Dude. I'm working every single day. I'm like, Dre. Well, we need to run this again. I, I ain't really like that one. He like last one. Nah, I ain't really like that one, Dre. Let me just record me. I'm telling him record me all day, every day. Like mm-hmm. I'm just trying to make sure one, it felt right because I had pain. That's, I mean, Ballard. He he mentioned it in the presser like, no, like somebody said I was lying. I'm like, listen, as a running back. Listen, we got enough injuries to deal with to be sitting here lying about injuries. Like, come on now. Like, what are we really talking about here? We breaking our bodies down every single week. You think I'm sitting here lying about an injury? And and JT, like I said, you ain't never, I like never been a guy like, you know, that been on the injury report. Like, not in one of them dudes that just be kind of in and out. Like, and look, it beat him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, throughout the league. And, you know, I mean, you always, you know what I'm saying, toughing shit out not to do, oh, this not hurting, I'm not going to practice. You ain't never been that bull. No, mm-hmm. I'm not, never. And that's that's one thing is why I wanted to make sure this was 100% locked up because I was never that type of dude. And mind you, until I had this past season where I had the multiple sprains, eventually leading to surgery, I never missed a practice. In my whole career, never missed a practice, never missed a game due mm-hmm. to injury. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, this is not about to be a trend. It's not like, oh, JT started getting hurt. Now it's down here. No, we nipping that in the bud right now. Mm-hmm. And we right back on track.